In August 2024, a drone pilot pleaded guilty to unacceptably flying his drone multiple times over 12,000 feet. We're here today at RAF Coningsby to hear from the police drone team that investigated the case and also from an RAF Typhoon pilot about just how dangerous that kind of drone flying can be. In the military, we regularly operate and train in the same area that this illegal drone user was flying. Now this drone was flying at 12,000 feet, just 10 miles south of the runway here. In the RAF especially, we can be flying either the fast jets uh, all the way to the Battle of Britain Memorial Flight aircraft. And this impacts our training heavily. It can cause a mid-air collision, but it can also be a distraction when we're flying. We advise any drone users to follow the rules, look at the CAA website, and follow the drone code so we can all operate in this airspace safely together. So Lincolnshire Police received intelligence of these two drones flying at thousands of feet in the airspace just south of this RAF base that we're at here today. We were able to detect this pilot within a couple of days, visit his home address and he was put before a court. He received £800 in fines, £405 costs and had his equipment confiscated. We understand it's a great hobby and we want people to enjoy that hobby and sometimes people get confused about the regulations. We understand that and we'll deal with that proportionally. In this case, this pilot was flying at thousands of feet, up to 12,000 feet on so many occasions. But we do want to work on education with those drone pilots. We want everybody to share their airspace safely, just follow the rules and stay safe. We want people to fly drones, we want people to have fun flying drones, but you must absolutely fly responsibly Follow the rules, follow the drone code that's spelt out very clearly on our website, caa.co.uk forward slash drones. <laughs>